Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the season, Premier League is here. Today is the biggest Friday of Team of the Season with the Premier League Team of the Season being released on a FIFA Ultimate Team. There's a lot to talk about, so I'm gonna take you through what I think is gonna happen with some predictions on the market, content that we're gonna to see today, players that could be a part of Team of the Season, and just a lot of info on what's gonna be going down today in FIFA Ultimate Team, because there's a lot to digest, all right? This is some, the first info that we got today. Team of the season so far, the loading screen with looks like Aguero and then the other two we're kind of unsure on who those cards are actually going to be. But it, this is definitely Aguero looking at this squad right here. Possibly like a Hyunmin Sun and a Kovacic. We'll find out the players later today. I wouldn't be surprised if EA actually release another loading screen to kind of further tease the players that we could be seeing today. So maybe watch out for an updated loading screen as we get into the hours approaching the promo. Speaking of approaching the promo, this is a tweet that EA put out today. Uh, there's going to be some sort of like quiz that you have a chance to reveal team of the season players and have a chance to win in-game rewards. Uh, so they have like a pretty long um, hashtag here and then a, a link to a team of the season so far quiz, which this is the link right now. You can't actually sign up for it, but I think this is where a lot of people are gonna be uh, looking at around 5 p.m. today. Uh, and just to kind of see a little bit of a reveal of what is happening with team of the season so far. So it looks like there's something going on there with EA. That's kind of cool uh, going into the game. What kind of content though, besides once 6 p.m. UK hits today, what are we gonna see on FIFA? That's what I wanna talk about first and get you guys ready for what's coming today. What we've seen the past few weeks is, of course, they're going to release a whole new squad of cards in packs. Some of those cards are technically leaked right now on Twitter. There's people that have inside knowledge um, that claim to have inside knowledge to be to be releasing some of the names that are in. Um, what I, my thing with leaks is, this is what I always say: it's never true until we actually see it in the game. So I, you know what, you can look at a leak and you can believe it and think that it's in. Uh, but we never know until it actually comes out. So I'm not a huge fan of leaks personally, um, but we kind of have to deal with them. So um, my just advice would be don't believe anything until you see it in the game or until you see EA put out some sort of graphic or some content that is coming. But with the team along, a team in packs today alongside of that, right? The whole Premier League team of the season, there's going to be at least one player SBC. I would assume they drop a player SBC every single week with a new squad on the first day. Last week, it was a Cardi, pretty good valued SBC. And we also had a team of the season challenge uh, for Premier League. So I would expect a Premier League team of the season challenge today, giving out some sort of pack. That's kind of all I would expect on the SBC side of things. Maybe not really anything else. Probably a player SBC and a pack supply SBC. And then also objectives. Uh, we're getting two new leagues today. So the EFL Tots, I think, is still going to, they're still in packs. The EFL Tots, Calvin Phillips, Mateus Perea, uh, Mitrovic, those guys are still in packs through the weekend. We should have another league coming out today, which I'm not actually sure which league that is. Uh, last year, it was the Saudi League that came out with the Premier League. Uh, so that's something interesting to look at. Uh, but we will get objectives, and I would expect to get an objective player from the lower level league that is getting team of the season as well as a Premier League objective player that will get an objective reward as well. I would expect two new team of the season so far cards to be a part of objectives today um, as the content that is coming out today. Alongside of all of that, there was an interesting card design added to the code late this early this morning, I guess you could call it this design right here which uh, does not have a name at the moment. This was released by Footwatch on Twitter. Um, this is a new car design. A lot of people thought this is like a team of the season moments SBC variant. But the thing that I saw right away is if you compare this to the actual team of the season's card, it's really, really similar to a scaled down version of that card, right? This looks a lot like, you know, the gold, kind of the design that we have here on the team of the season card. This to me is a team of the season nominee card, which makes me think that we're gonna have a set of team of the season cards in packs, and then also a set of team of the season nominee cards in packs as well, maybe with some sort of upgrade. So this could impact the market today as well. We'll see what comes of this. Right now, everything we know is purely spec, uh, what is that word? Speculative, yeah, purely speculative right now with what that card design is. So that's gonna be really interesting 
with whatever comes with that today. So there could be a lot of players in packs today. And speaking of packs, that's what everybody's going to be focused on in the first hour or two of the promotion today when Premier League Team of the Season comes out. Lots of people have saved up packs today. So this is where I want to start talking about the market stuff, right? What kind of market movements are we going to see because of all the packs? We're going to have lightning rounds today. Uh, you know, right now we have a percentage TOTS SF player. There's going to be lightning rounds. There's going to be saved up packs opened. And this is the one we saw this last week with Team of the Season Community. Uh, and we've seen this during like the first week of foot birthday when there's a lot of saved up packs, which for today, not tomorrow, today, Friday, there's tons and tons of saved up packs. All of those packs get opened in the first hour to hour and a half of the promo coming out. So that's when you're going to see a lot of the cheapest prices for a lot of stuff that is in packs and on the market. Things that I think about that could be buys in the first hour and a half of lighting rounds, uh, SBC investments, right? cheap SBC fodder or the cheapest cards by each rating. I think some of this is going to go lower today. Uh, we had SBCs today that people thought were going to make these cards rise. It didn't really because I think the amount of investing and the amount of people that were trying to make coins on this, uh, along with some tradable pack supply, actually hurt SBC fodder prices today and they dropped lower. I think as long as we don't get some insane SBC from EA today uh, requiring high rateds that everybody wants to go out and do, I think that this SBC fodder will go lower. It's going to be great to pick up on Snipe and on Bid in the first hour to two hours of the promotion today. Other things, right? A lot of people are thinking about these new Team of the Season cards. Like, let's use Aguero, for example, as he is uh, not yet guaranteed, but it looks to be that we're getting a Team of the Season Aguero based on the loading screen. Let's say a new version of Aguero comes out, right? And all of those packs are opened uh, we have lightning rounds that start at 6 p.m. when the cards come into packs. And we also have saved up packs that are opened at that time frame. What happens? Just a mass opening of packs and a mass amount of supply onto the market. I think a lot of the new team of the season cards are going to hit their cheapest price for the next day or two for the weekend. They're going to hit that cheapest price within the first 30 minutes to an hour of them going into packs because of all of the packs that are going to be opened. Even if we have server issues which I do expect that we will have server issues today on foot. When Foot Birthday Team 1 came out, there were server issues on that Friday. Um, I think that even then, those prices were the cheapest within the first uh, 30 minutes to an hour of FIFA. I think you'll see that again today. So if you want to look at a Team of Season card that, to purchase for your team, um, and it's in the new squad, I think that if it's a really meta card that a lot of people are going to want to use, like if Aguero gets in, or Sun, or an Aubameyang, you know, or maybe a Van Dyke, possibly, you know, stuff like that, that might be a buy in the first 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Because of all that pack supply, it's going to come in in that first bit of a time frame when everybody wants to open packs that they have saved up. So that's something to watch for a lot of that stuff. And you're like, okay, man, I want to buy Team of the Season Aguero because he's probably getting one today. How do I know what a good price is in the first, you know, hour to hour and a half? Use last year's cards as a, you know, a example for what you could look for this year. This should be similarly priced, right? Somewhat similarly priced to last year. Uh, like to use Aguero as an example, first day last year, both consoles, 2.2 million coins on the PlayStation, 2.1 on the Xbox. If you see Aguero tomorrow getting listed up in the first 30 minutes to an hour with all the packs coming out in FIFA, and he's got similar stats to this card from last year, which by the loading screen, he would have uh, 97 shot. Um, and you, if you see this card, like 1.6 million coins, that should trigger an alarm in your head after knowing last year he was 2.2 mil, that this year he's 1.7. Hey, that might be a little bit low in the first hour or so. And that card could be a riser back up over 2 million coins. Pretty easy, right? Because what happens is everybody opens those packs right away. They don't all pack team of the season cards, but they pack stuff, they sell it, they quick sell items, which just increases the net amount of coins on the market they have more coins in the top left of their fifa ultimate team screens and they want to go out and buy things and that's why we see the market rise really nicely after the lightning rounds in basically all areas where people want to buy cards for weekend league now remember that's the whole um that's the whole reason cards rise in the evenings after a promo comes out it's because people are buying those cards to go play with them on the game or weekend league which starts today on Friday. So I've got a lot of investments right here and I want to take a look at some other cards 
with you guys that I've invested in and kind of talk through this stuff, right? You can buy stuff that is in packs tomorrow and it'll probably rise if it's meta enough, right? We're talking new team of the season cards, but also out of packs cards like future stars or shapeshifters or informs, um, you know, for birthday cards, if you want something for your team or if you want an out of packs special card and you want to buy it before um, or you want to buy it at some point today for your weekend league team, uh, you want to do that in the panic or watch for panic and dropping prices before the promo actually drops and maybe in the first hour of that promo actually dropping. Why do I say that? So what happens is these cards don't have any supply on the market, right? These Future Stars cards were in packs a couple months ago. They're not getting packed anymore and put onto this game. There's no supply. There's only demand. So the supply for these cards and what changes their price, if the price drops, that just means a bunch of people are panicking or wanting to sell that card and get their coins for whatever reason. Uh, but then once more coins get put on the market, people realize they can't afford these team of the seasons because the Premier League team of the season, uh, first day, like we just looked at Aguero, right? Let's look at like a middle tier card from last year. Bernardo Silva is more of a middle tier team of the season card. What was he first day last year? 500,000 coins first day. How many team of the season cards from this past set do we have over 500k? We have one, two, three. We have three cards from Team of the Season so far that are over 500,000 coins. My guess from today's new Team of the Season Premier League that all the cards, but probably like five or six, are going to be over 500,000 coins in the first first day, first couple hours. The TOTS cards that come out today are going to be so much more expensive than the first week. That's why I'm a huge fan of buying stuff that could be panic sold an out of packs card that could be panic sold this morning i like this son a lot because even if he gets a team of the season card people might sell this card because they think they're going to go buy the new one but when it comes out and it's 2.5 million coins they're not going to be able to buy it right so they have to go back and settle for the version that they had before that's where you see a lot of these cards rise back up because people realize they can't afford it and now they have more coins so maybe somebody who couldn't afford this son before open some packs today and now can afford it. That's why you see a rise in the market on a lot of these cards. So if you're looking for panic selling or dropping prices today before 6 p.m. UK time when the promo comes out, really look for meta. That's the biggest thing that you wanna look through and think about is what kind of cards do you see in people's teams a lot? A lot of French cards, a lot of Premier League, a lot of Bundesliga, La Liga, right? Stick to the popular leagues, popular nations, and cards that are meta in this game. High agility, high balance, you know, stuff like that in FIFA because those are the cards that people use because it fits the meta. And again, people are buying cards today because they want to build squads and play the weekend league. So that's stuff to just think about. And I like building the Premier League. I like investing in the Premier League cards the most because a lot of these cards uh, are what people use. Uh, the Premier League is the most popular league in the world. Uh, and it shows on FIFA today too, because we have the most hyped day of team of the season on the first full week or, or week two, I guess you could say of team of the season, um, today with the premier league. So that's something to look out for today is just a rise on these cards. Now, what, when do you sell, right? Let's say like I bought this Lucas Mora today. I had two of them on my transfer list that I purchased, uh, just around a hundred thousand coins. Right now, my guy is like 108, 110,000 coins for this card. Where would I look to sell this card today, right? When would I look to sell this card today? In times past, I would have sold you, I would have told you that the time to sell these cards would have been Saturday morning when most people are playing Weekend League and buying a card still. The new time to actually sell a lot of these, we see most of the buying for 90% of cards actually hit a peak three, two to three hours after lightning round stop. So like nine to 11 PM UK time is when we see the highest amount of rise in some of these cards. It's after the lightning round stop, people go out and they're buying cards and you see those prices go up. They kind of reach a peak some somewhere between like nine, 10, 11, even midnight UK time. And then it kind of starts to trickle off into the evening and it kind of just stays there, maybe goes up a little bit in a Saturday morning, but most people end up buying on the Friday night. And there's a lot of people playing weekend league. So that also is why that you have that, that extra demand on Friday nights after the promo starts, because people need to get their weekend leagues going so they can get those team of the season cards in rewards. So that's why you see the market rise up. That's when I think you can do some selling. Uh, so again, if you want to make some market movements today, out of pack special cards, meta 
cards, popular leagues, popular nations, stuff that you can snipe during landing rounds. Like I mentioned, the SBC fodder, anything from an 83 rated to an 89 or a 90 rated card that is in packs, you should be able to snipe today and make some coins on because uh, it's just going to be low, right? Buy a couple, put it in your in your club. If you want to do SBCs down the line, that's going to help you out a lot. If you're looking to you know, make some other bigger snipes, maybe if you're on a higher budget, I always shout this out on a promo Friday. The base basic icon filter sniping method is basically set up like this. This is like if you have over a million coins and you want to try to snipe an icon that somebody just packed and they're listing it up for cheap, just trying to get coins. I've made millions with this method on Fridays when a promo drops. You set a basic chemistry style, set a you know kind of a price range based on how much you have, and then search to the 59th minute. You have to know your icon prices really well. Uh, but what you're looking for is you're going to be looking for cards like this one. Somebody just packed and they're going to be listing up, right? Got Incha right here. First owner. This Drogba, first owner. A lot of these cards that pop up with the basic chemistry style filter are first owner icons that people have packed that obviously don't have a chem style applied to them because they were just packed and they're put on the market because they're just trying to sell them and get their coins. And sometimes people don't know the price of the card or they miss a number when they're listing it quickly because they're just so panicking because they packed an AI icon or an icon moments um, that they're freaked out. So sometimes you can pick up some crazy deals using filters like that. So there's tons of stuff that you can expect today on FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I would expect a lot of card prices to rise up into the evening. A lot of coins are going to put be put on this market. A lot of coins were put onto this market with the Thursday rewards and, and the, the new rewards that they did with the Team of the Season cards today or on Thursday in foot. So I think you're going to see an influx in the really meta cards on the market as well, like upper tier cards. Um, if there's any position that is lacking, when you look at the new Prem Tots squad today, if there's any position that is kind of lacking and from you know what I'm thinking, what I'm projecting, I think center back is going to be a weak spot possibly for this team of the season. There's going to be plenty of strikers, going to be plenty of outside wing players, maybe like a Mares or a Mane. Um, center back, I think, is going to be a little bit weak. And then possibly um, outside backs, right? You might get Trent Alexander-Arnold. You might get Ricardo Perea. We'll probably get a Robertson. Um, but any other left backs like in the Prem or, or very meta left backs and outside backs in this game from good nations, good leagues, those could see a nice rebound today as well because, uh, again, if a position is not really well covered, uh, like last week, there were not any really good strikers in the team of the season so far. So what happened last week was we saw a lot of meta strikers really rebound, like Mbappe striker cards or even like um, this Halan, right? Uh, this card... Last week, the Future Stars version was 1.2 mil in the panic selling uh, before the promo actually started. And an hour after the promo uh, was happening, this card was back up to 1.3 mil where he is now. That's the kind of market movements you could see in the panic selling leading up to 6 p.m. UK today. So that's kind of the content I think you're going to see today on foot. A lot of packs are going to be open right away. A lot of packs are going to be open right away. Tons of supply then. Um, if you want to buy a Tots card and if it's a really high tier meta one, like a Sun or maybe a Rashford if he gets one or a Bruno Fernandez if he gets one or a Salah or possibly a Van Dyke maybe or um, Aguero, look to buy those cards maybe in the first hour to hour and a half unless EA is dropping some crazy supply on the market, then I'd be very, you know, I'd be a little bit scared with that. But um, there's going to be plenty of, way to make, plenty of ways to make coins today on foot. And it's going to be a fun day, man. It's going to be a fun day. Premier League team of the season, day number one. If you're opening packs, let me know. on I have, My Twitter link is in the description. Tweet me a picture of your team of the season pack pulls or whatever you pack today. Definitely show me some of those. I'll be opening packs live on stream as well. That link is in the description. Uh, but again, boys, good luck today if you're opening packs. Have fun. Build your squads for weekend league. Good luck if you're playing those games. Uh, and of course... It's prem team the season, man. This is a time to have fun. So make sure whatever you do, you have fun today. Don't let the server outage that is almost, you know, uh, it's going to happen probably at 6 p.m. UK today. The server is going to go down. It's going to be a pain. Uh, but after that, just try to have some fun, all right? Just try to have some fun. It's Premier League team of the season. I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.